Hello again, this is the part 2 of how to make a quick card game. Now that we have our, our uh, wheel spin, now we're going to add uh, right and left movement to the car. Okay? Uh, okay, so now just right click on the chassis, go to the logic section just next to the panels, uh, minimize the other ones that we just created so it's going to be easier and add a uh, second uh, second one second section so add three more to that now change the always to keyboard and now press a button okay so we're going to add a left movement to our car and connect the lines now here we're going to select rotation uh, I believe it's the first one and make it 0 0.10 let's see if it's the whoops sorry it's not this one maybe let's see nope yeah it's the uh, last one sorry guys yeah it's last one okay now let's make it hold on whoops now let's make this 0 0.03 okay whoops 0 0.03 now this is not going to, going to be more realistic okay so it doesn't spin really fast so now when I when I'm holding W and the A key the car does this movement that you're seeing right now which is really real now uh, so now that you've done that you can also add a D and S to go back and go right okay so we're just, I'm just gonna do it really fast Change. Whoops. Sorry. Change this to keyboard. D. Connect the lines. And make the rotation. Okay. So now this time, the in the previous one we have made a positive 0 0.03. Now now we have to make it negative. Okay. So negative 0 0.03. Now let's see if that works. Yes, works really good. Now, now I have my my um, right and left, right and left movement of my car. So now the only things missing is the back one, the reverse key, which is going to be the S one. Add three more. Sl change that to keyboard and add the key to be S. And it's really easy. It's gonna be the same thing, but now we're gonna make it negative 0 0.10. So, whoa, why did I do that? I just, sorry, I just added on in the uh, rotation mode. Okay, so negative 0 0.010. Now we, now I have the reverse key, and now I have all the movements for my car. As you see, I can drive and go and do whatever I want now um, we're almost done now we have our car and it's now playable now we need to add a surface even that is static to more to make it look more real okay and to do that well it's really simple you have to click uh, left click just like under the car press space add mesh it can be it can either be a uh, cube or it can be a plane I'm gonna add, add a cube to make a good big surface so to, yeah to do that just scale it with the uh, manipulator mode the uh, blue square okay so as you see when now I, when I play uh, press P whoops sorry Let's zoom in. Now when I press P, you can see it. there's a surface now. And it looks more real. And it doesn't look like it f it's floating on the air. Like it was before. Okay. Um, you can also move the sun where, where, uh, where you want. Oh, whoops, sorry. By using the G or the arrows. So now I have 
just place my son to the next to more car. Okay. So we have just made the surface. Now this is optional. If you want to make, um, okay. So when you play, okay, if you want to make your the camera, okay, stays behind the car, then you should edit the camera. But it's optional. If if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. But I'm gonna do it anyways for those who wants to do it. Okay. Uh, so just select the camera by right click on it, and you should see it, it becomes pink. Okay. Then just move it just uh, like behind the car, which is this side. Yeah, okay. Just move it behind the car and select the rotation and make it look to the car. You can also go to the view, camera, and you can press G to edit the uh, where it sees. Okay, so this is perfect. Okay. Um, in the camera section, you also have to add, go to the logic panel, and add three sections here. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the movement of the car. We're gonna stick the connect the lines, but you're gonna leave this on always, and change the motion to camera, which is here. Okay. Um, so. Now, what I need to do, well, you see this OB here, well, I have to uh, enter the car name to make the camera follow the car. To do that, click on the car, okay, and then go to the, um, I believe it's, hold on, yeah, go to the F7 object mode, and it says OB, and it shows the name of the car, which is Cube, okay, so go back to the camera. Okay, go to logic and enter here, cube. So now it's gonna follow this car. Um, then we, we're gonna enter the uh, the height and the the uh, place that you, the camera will be. So let's go with seven, minimum seven and maximum seven. So it's gonna stay in a s so the camera will stay uh, stable and won't go. And what you don't you don't want? Okay, make this eight, and let's see. Whoops, sorry. Go to view camera, press play, and you can see it's way too high. Okay, so you have to change that to five, maybe a bit more. Three, yeah. Okay, so now you see the camera follows the car. It's really good now. It's uh. It, it looks those like like those car games out there. Okay, so yeah, now now you're done with the camera. Yeah. So now you, you can after you've done that, you can also add a color to your car, like your tires and your chassis. But I think I'm gonna make this in the part three of my video because we're running out of time I've got like a minute left so see, I, see you guys at part 3 thank you for